Hello, how are you? Welcome to CEO, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans and correct misrepresentations of Africa and Africans. Today, Wednesday, August 19th, is recognized around the world by humanitarian actors as the World Humanitarian Day, and it's a day we acknowledge the sacrifices that are made every day by employees of humanitarian organizations. Some who've lost their lives as well, some who've been injured, some go missing, and then we acknowledge the sacrifices that go towards addressing humanitarian crisis around the world, the workers in humanitarian organization. Very often we recognize only those employed within humanitarian agencies, but there are many others around the world who sacrifice every day for the well-being of humanity and not paid for it, sacrifice to save human lives daily and may not be named, but we acknowledge your sacrifice today on World Humanitarian Day. I participated, you know, as an employee of a humanitarian organization and the first event on World Humanitarian Day. And I did that, did that enthusiastically. I started my career over close to 20 years in the, the humanitarian field with a commitment to end humanitarian needs. And um, in recent, in the last five years, with o o almost 20 years working in this field, I'm now focused on questioning why humanitarian needs increase every day. Or humanity, humanitarian presence is increasing in Africa every, literally every year. Today, as we speak, majority of the humanitarian reaction and presence around the world, over 70% of it, the bulk of humanitarian action around the world is in Africa. The map you beside you shows the green, dark green areas reflect the countries that are appealing for humanitarian needs every year. As you can see, these countries are from Africa. They have some regional appeals like in Venezuela, in other areas, but these are faint. It shows not country-based, but it's regional-based, and these are faint. The countries that go every year, majority of the countries that go every year to appeal for humanitarian aid, humanitarian funding, are from Africa, and they are in dark red in the map you can see. Um, for example, my country, a country of birth origin, Nigeria, has been appealing for humanitarian aid every year for the last five years. There are other countries from Africa that have been appealing for over 20 years. You know, the, and I have in the last five years expressed concern and hopes and wishes that few African countries, at least, who can celebrate humanitarian action in Africa by the, a reduction in the number of African countries that are appealing for aid. Instead, many more go into humanitarian appeals every year, into requesting humanitarian funding every year. Now, it's important to note that humanitarian aid and funding is very important. I am indeed grateful that I work in a system that is can be easily deployed when sudden onset disaster strike. I'm really proud that I work for an organization that is participating in responding to the recent port bombing in Lebanon. I was grateful when I worked with a humanitarian organization that res responded to, to Mozambique in the, la, in the last year. So when sudden onset disaster strike, it is great, amazing that we have a humanitarian system that can be deployed quickly to reduce human suffering and save lives. Now with COVID-19 pandemic, there's even a, a huge need for good humanitarian coordination to ensure lives are saved, people take the required measures to reduce the spread of COVID-19. My concern is that most, most, many African countries that continue to appeal every year do not have a sudden onset disaster. They have slow onset disasters or they have grinding, grinding conflict situations. So my concern is that the humanitarian approach may be used to cover, undermine and deflect attention from other forms of interventions that are required. There are many situations that require serious, strong security measures. Really, I do not think when a community is bombed, giving them food is the, it should be the priority. It should be an immediate priority, but it should not be the standing response that runs for many years. People need to have the required security put in place so they can go back to providing for their families in dignity. Now, drought. I, drought is a slow onset disaster. And I just wonder why many African countries have settled to appealing for humanitarian assistance to address drought every year. Drought is a slow onset disaster. So these are some examples I think Africa needs to review. Because yes, indeed, appealing for humanitarian aid every year does distract from 
the issue around lack of recovery. Because if you appeal for humanitarian aid every year for more than 20 years, there's no sudden onset disaster. You foresee the, the, the challenges that you're going to see coming, for especially for arid regions, that we have a problem. And my wish remains, as we acknowledge the sacrifices that humanitarian actors make every day, those employed by humanitarian agencies, and especially those who give their time and finances and resources for free to address humanitarian needs. My hope is that our resources, our energy will be applied appropriately to indeed end human suffering. Our resources and energy will be applied not to deflect from the urgent need for recovery from many communities. Our energy will be applied to ensure that we are not standing in the way of development by skewing attention and efforts into short-term humanitarian needs because humanitarian needs cannot sustainable. Hello, I'm back. I'm sorry for the interruption. My mother called. My mommy calls regularly. <laughs> yeah, in all this passion, all this commitment and calling that drives me, I'm a daughter of a great mother and I'm a mom too. So to get back to the point, my wish for Africa on World Humanitarian Day is that fewer African countries would continue to depend and appeal for humanitarian aid every year. I wish for more African countries to move towards recovery, and I wish for more African countries to recognize and pool resources within their nations to address humanitarian needs. I wish for Africans to address their sudden onset humanitarian needs when they emerge. I just think it's really still a tragedy that more African countries around the world Seven, more than seventy percent of the countries that go to appeal for humanitarian aid every year, I think it's a tragedy that over seventy percent of these countries are from Africa, and I wish that to end. Thank you. Stay safe under COVID nineteen. Bye.